First thing they think is, you know, I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder what it's like to eat a giant raindrop. What's it like to eat a giant raindrop? It's pretty refreshing. My name is Darren Wong, and I'm the creator of the Raindrop Cake. The process of making Raindrop Cake is pretty simple. We mix uh, natural spring water with agar. It's a very specific proportion that I use to create the raindrop effect. So too much agar, and it's a little too stiff, and it's not clear. And if I don't use enough agar, it doesn't hold its shape. So it's a very delicate process that creates the correct texture of it looking and feeling like you're eating a raindrop. So we serve our raindrop cake with uh, karamitsu syrup, which is a black sugar cane syrup that we make ourselves, and then a roasted soy flour, and together combines for this very sweet, nutty flavor. The raindrop cake itself tastes uh, like the water it's made from. It's more about the texture that surprises people because it's not exactly liquid, but it's not exactly like jello either. What makes raindrop cake stand out is that it sort of goes against the whole like frankenfood trend where you're slapping together two really delicious food items. And I think that's what a lot of the food trends were. They were getting more over the top. People are just excited to, to discover new things. You know, people love to find a new food to Instagram. They like to find new foods to try. And it's an experience.